I used to be the happiest dog in the world. I had a warm bed, matching food and water dishes with my name, Celeste, on them, and a good supply of bones and toys. But best of all, I had Rupert. Rupert was kind, funny, handsome, clever, brave. I had everything a dog could want. Rupert and I had each other. We were happy. One day I noticed something different about Rupert. I couldn't quite work out what it was. Rupert did everything he always did, after all. I decided it was just my imagination. But a few days later, the something different was back. Rupert didn't want to take me for a walk. Not today, Celeste. I'm too tired. He wouldn't eat his dinner. I even had to keep reminding him to give me my dinner. In a minute, Celeste. He wouldn't play with me. Go away, Celeste! Rupert had never shouted at me before. Even when Rupert was trying to pretend everything was all right, I knew the something different was still there. I tried to help Rupert, but nothing I did seemed to work. I hated the something different. Would it ever go away? Maybe it was my fault. Would Rupert ever look after me properly again? Did he still love me? Everything went round and round in my head until it felt like I was going to pop. I felt lonely, sad, angry, worried, scared. Then our neighbours Lily and Henry noticed me. Hello Celeste, Lily said. You look a bit sad. Is everything all right? I started to cry. I tried my best to tell her everything. Lily came round to see me and Rupert. She asked me to go with her to the house to play with Henry while she spoke to Rupert some more. It felt nice to play again. When she came back, Lily explained things to me. Rupert's poorly, Celeste, she said but not in his tummy or his throat or his ear. His feelings are poorly. I didn't know feelings could get poorly. The poorly feelings are called depression, Lily went on. Other people get depression too. There are people who will be able to help Rupert. I was relieved. I knew what the something different was, but I still had lots of questions. Rupert didn't mean to get depressed, Lily said. It's nobody's fault. He still loves you very much. He knows you love him too. It's not your job to make things better at home and you still need to play and have fun. Lily told me I could talk to her any time I wanted. Rupert did find people who could help with his depression. In time, he started to feel better. Sometimes I worry that the depression will come back. I know Rupert worries too but it won't be something different anymore. Rupert and I will know what to do. Rupert is still kind, funny, handsome, clever, and very, very brave, and I'm still the happiest dog in the world.